Little Bunny Sleepless Night by Carol Roth. Little Bunny had no brothers or sisters. He had his very own room with his very own bed. But sometimes he got very lonely, so lonely that he couldn't fall asleep. One night he thought, what I need is the company of a good friend. So he hopped next door to his good friend Squirrel. May I sleep here tonight? Of course, said Squirrel as he welcomed him in. Tucked all snug in bed next to Squirrel, little Bunny thought how lucky he was not to be alone. Good night, Squirrel, said little Bunny. Good night, little Bunny, answered his friend. Falling asleep was easy. But staying asleep was not. Little Bunny was soon awakened by a crunch, crunch, crunch. What's that noise? He asked as he sat up in bed. It's just me cracking acorns, said Squirrel. Always have a little snack in the middle of the night. Well, thanks for having me, but I can't sleep with all that noise. So Little Bunny left and hopped somewhere more until he reached good friend Skunk. May I sleep here tonight? Yes, yes, a hundred times yes, shouted Skunk. No one has ever asked to sleep over before. Afraid Little Bunny might change his mind, Skunk quickly pulled him inside. This is fun, Skunk said as they got into their beds. Shortly after, they fell asleep. But not for long. Little Bunny was soon awakened by a terrible smell. What smells, he asked as he jumped up. I'm afraid I do, said Skunk. I forgot someone else was in my room. I got scared and sprayed. Well, thanks for having me, but I can't sleep with that smell. So Little Bunny left and hopped some more until he reached his good friend Porcupine. May I sleep here tonight? Certainly, said Porcupine. You take my bed and I'll sleep on the floor. Yippee! shouted Little Bunny as he climbed into Porcupine's bed and bounced around with excitement. Ouch! he screamed. What do you have in here? That's just my quill, said Porcupine. I lose them every now and then. Well, thanks for having me, but I can't sleep with those prickles. So Little Bunny hopped some more until he reached his good friend Bear. May I sleep here tonight? Why, sure. Make yourself at home, said Bear. By now, Little Bunny was so tired. He just curled up on the floor and went right to sleep. But very soon after, Little Bunny was wakened by a loud rumbling noise. Oh no, it's thundering, he thought. But it wasn't thundering at all. His friend was... The bear was snoring. Well, I can't sleep with that snoring, said Little Bunny. So he left and hopped some more until he reached his good friend Al. May I sleep here tonight? Why, yes, if you want to, said Al. Just follow me.
An exhausted little bunny went right to sleep, but soon was awakened by a bright light shining in his eyes. Put the light out, he shouted. I can't, said Al. I stay up reading every night. That's how I got to be so wise. Well, since you're so wise, could you please tell me how I'm ever going to get some sleep? That's easy, said Al. Just go back home where you belong. Lenny Little Bunny took the wise Al's advice. Too tired to hop, he dragged himself home. His bed never looked so good to him before. He jumped right in. How wonderful, he said to himself as he snuggled down. No crunching noise, no terrible smell, no prickly quills, no snoring, no bright lights. Just me by myself and peace and quiet. Now I can fall asleep. And that's just what the little bunny did. That and...